Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. This is why the president calls the liberal media the enemy of the people. Now, before you start, I think the president should save the word enemy for hostile nations, terrorists, and maybe murderers and rapists who are the enemy of the people. I would not call the press enemies of the people, even though I think the liberal media are liars, hacks, suck-ups, political operatives, and losers. But propaganda has always been thought of as the enemy of the people because it's the enemy of truth. Democrats themselves called fake news propaganda Facebook ads during the 2016 election a threat to our democracy. What the mainstream media does every day is peddle liberal propaganda, narratives that are the enemy of the truth. You don't have to take my word for it. Here's proof. Number one example, the mainstream media blamed President Trump for anti-Semitism. In the wake of the Tree of Life synagogue massacre that left 11 Jewish people dead, MSNBC's Steve Schmidt says right-wing media is responsible for the shooting. This is a quote. Mark Levin, Rush Limbaugh, Breitbart, Newsbusters, Judicial Watch, and all of the rest have blood on their hands. That's dangerous, and it's a lie. The only person to blame for the shooting is the shooter himself. You notice Schmidt and others condemn the actual killer less then they blamed right-wing pundits they don't like. If there's any political party who's tolerant of anti-Semitism, it's the left. It's the left who embraced Louis Farrakhan and Keith Ellison and Linda Sarsour and the BDS movement. Blaming the right for the Tree of Life massacre? That's propaganda. Propaganda is the enemy of the truth. Example number two, the mainstream media tells black people that cops will shoot you dead for, quote, being black. That's dangerous and it's a lie. The mainstream media helped push the false narrative of the Black Lives Matter movement, telling young black men if they are so much, if they so much as walk in the road, a cop might gun them down because of the color of their skin. No matter that statistics show that claim is false, no matter that it's evil to accuse an entire occupation of public servants of being racist killers, no matter that peddling this narrative makes it more dangerous for both black people and cops because fear causes tensions to escalate, the mainstream media peddled it anyway. That's propaganda, and propaganda is the enemy of the truth. Example number three. The mainstream media echoed Democrats who said, if Republicans repeal Obamacare, people are gonna die. Well, that narrative is dangerous and it's a lie. A crazed gunman opened fire on the congressional baseball game and shot Congressman Steve Scalise and others because he thought people were going to die if the GOP repealed Obamacare. That claim was never true. Nobody's dying after the individual mandate was repealed. But that didn't stop Democrats and the mainstream media from pushing that narrative. It's propaganda, and propaganda is the enemy of the truth. Example number four. The mainstream media convicted Judge Brett Kavanaugh guilty of gang rape because a creepy porn lawyer accused him of it. No proof, no evidence. He's guilty, they said. It's dangerous and it's a lie. The mainstream media hosted creepy porn lawyer Michael Avenatti over a dozen times on their programs after he made this baseless allegation against Kavanaugh. It wasn't true, and NBC knew it. NBC knew it, and they pushed the false narrative anyway. They didn't care about crucifying an innocent man. They didn't care if it put all men in danger of being destroyed by frivolous allegations. Nope. They ran with this false narrative. That's propaganda. Propaganda is the enemy of the truth. Example number five, GQ magazine's Julia Iafi claimed Trump has radicalized more people than ISIS. Well, that's dangerous, it's a lie, and it's a dumb lie. How do you expect people to react when you tell them the president's essentially running a terror training camp? That rhetoric is dangerous, and it's a lie. It's propaganda, and propaganda is the enemy of the truth. All of these narratives from the mainstream media are propaganda to try to brainwash and coerce people into voting Democrat and rejecting Trump. The Democrats don't think you'll vote for them on the merits of their policies. So they ply you with propaganda, the enemy of the truth. It's dangerous and it's a lie, but Democrats don't care. And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at OANN.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.